everybody how's everybody doing today man you already should know how it goes your boy be back with another video y'all listen i have been literally just uh okay but i'm here to show you guys how to start an ebay as a business account okay if you have an ebay already you are capable of making this a business account as well we're going to talk about the benefits we're going to talk about why you would want to do this um in general okay so number one it is very important for you guys to understand how to set up an ein i do have a video letting you know how to set up an ein it's going to be linked below um and it is going to help you when it comes to setting your ebay up as a business account now why should we set our ebay up as a business account because this sets us up for success not only that it also it's going to give us a higher seller's limit. It's also going to give us the ability to be able to sell in literally any place, get items from wholesalers, be able to write taxes off, do have tax write-offs, of course, be able to sit there and legitimately make money as a business and not be liable personally, but also being able to have your business protect you as well. All right, so a little bit more in depth with that is when you do business under your social everything i mean everything if you sell coffee and the person gets burnt by the coffee they're taking you to court so everything is your fault or everything is going to be blamed on you vice versa if you get an llc you start doing business with your business inside your entity if the person gets burnt with that coffee they are now suing your business they're not suing you so that is sort of kind of the simplest way I think I can explain it. Um, but guys, it is important to make sure that we are being very, very, very smart when it comes to making the money not only work for us, but also making sure that we're putting the right behaviors in place so that we don't have to go through potential ups and downs and potential stagnant moments where you're like okay i'm making x amount of money but i want to turn this into something big and you don't even know how to actually turn it into a business so that when you go to your account and you can write off all of the expenses you used all of the traveling and etc so that is why we're going to set up the ebay as a business now when we start this you need to make sure you have your email okay i recommend you starting a business email now, one thing about that email is that you need to make sure that everything coming from eBay, whatever selling platforms you're selling under this business name, come to one email. The reason is because you need to keep your records. It's very important to keep records, very important to stay organized, very important for you to know exactly what is going on with your business. So once you see this email pop up, you already know this is money. So this is something that is going to be dealing with money. So that is the reason why you want to make sure that you are using a new email. Now, if you already have an eBay account set up, you don't need to use the new email. This is not a must. This is more so me basically giving you advice from something I've learned. Okay. So again, to start, we will first need an email. I already have one popped up um, just for the sake of the video. I chose to use a Yahoo mail. Um, so the business we're going to be creating today is King Crabs LLC. All right. So create that email. Once you create that email, that is when you're going to be going directly to Google. Okay. Google is our friend. All right. Now, again, I'm going to show you guys how to get to the EIN website, but you got to watch the EIN video where I break down exactly how to create an EIN. All right, it's going to be linked below. But first, you want to sit there and say apply for EIN. Now, this can be quite tricky because a lot of places trying to charge you, I guess because they think people are ignorant, but this is the one you want to use, the one that says irs.gov. It's free. They're open from 7 a.m., to 10 p.m. Right now, me recording this, it is 7 a.m. So they're open. All right. Hit apply now. Follow the steps, okay? Follow the steps in that video because this is how you're going to be able to get that EIN, set it up correctly, and then be able to apply it to your eBay. All right. So 
number one. Now, we're back to eBay. Now, let's say we got that EIN created. We got the email created. Now, we have to go to that eBay. All right. So, I'm talking about um, creating the eBay account um, as a business. So, now with that, having this eBay at this screen, you already know you're setting one up. Now, you're going to want to set up an eBay account. So you're gonna hit create an account. Okay, so now you can create an account, personal or business, we're gonna to go to business, okay? Now business is a bit different. They are gonna take your EIN, but what they're gonna do, right? When they take your EIN, they're also gonna ask you for the last four of your social. The reason they ask you for the last four of your social is because the way EINs work is the EIN is tied to your social, but the EIN is protecting your social, basically, okay? But for identity purposes, they will be asking you for your social, well, the last four of your social, not the full, but they won't be pulling anything from your social, all right? Now, I remember telling you guys, our business today is gonna be King Crab LLC, right? So that is exactly what we're gonna put. Then, this is why we created that new email, King Crab LLC at Yahoo. Dot com. I do not I do not use the Yahoo. I repeat, I do not. But just for this example, I'm going to make sure I have it right. But just for this example, yes, we're going to use them. Um, I don't want to mess up my me being able to use Google because I'm using a thousand. King, King Grand LLC. I think, yeah. I, I believe that's right. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's right. All right. Now, set up a password. Now, where is your business registered? So, of course, ours is going to be registered in the United States. If you're outside of the States, of course, you're going to hit that States. Now, then you're going to have this checkbox. I had a few students from my eBay automation and coaching class that actually hit this when they weren't supposed to. So, I urge you not to hit i'm only interested in buying on ebay okay when you hit that they take away all of the selling privileges so don't don't do that there's no point in creating a business account and you're only interested in buying that would be counterproductive all right so now they're saying they sent me an email okay and yes they did all right so the email is right here we got two nine zero zero four seven okay that's our code. Don't tell nobody. All right. This is just our code. So now eBay name. That's very important. Okay. Now, when it comes to your business in general, when it comes to creating an EIN, when it comes to selling on selling app, I want you to start to create a brand. That is what I want you to do because you're going to take more pride in it than just having it be your name. Okay. So whether I'm selling on eBay, whether I'm selling on Amazon, whether I'm selling on Facebook Marketplace, Offer Up, Macari, whatever I'm selling at, I have a business name and they usually are all uniform because this is a income stream, right? And I want my app money, so the money I make from apps, reselling apps to all equate to one business, one business account, one email, because this is going to help me stay organized. So when it comes to me making a name, this is important, okay? Whether you sell socks, whether you sell candy, whatever you sell, this is why you have to make sure you are making a brand so that people can know like, all right, I need some tube socks. I'm going to Tube Sock King or whatever your name is, all right? So we created that name, all right? Now, it's telling you right now, register as a business seller, okay? Now, if you're a sole proprietor, register under your own name. Now, a sole proprietor, vice versa, LLC, two different things. Just talking to my girlfriend about this. A sole proprietor is somebody that is operating as a business, but under their social, that still means that if there's a customer in a drive through lane and you sell coffee and they burn themselves with that coffee, you're liable. You're getting sued. When they sue you behind and they get all that money, you're at fault. But that is the reason we're not a sole proprietor, but instead we're an LLC, Limited Liability Company. Now, 
The reason why we're LLC is because it protects us. Now, do we have to pay an extra set of taxes? Technically, yes, and that is the only downfall, but I'll tell you this, it is worth it. It's worth it when it comes to you not having to be liable for simple things that really are out of your control, all right? So, prime example, somebody trips in front of my storefront, that's sort of kind of out of my control, all right? I don't own the sidewalk, okay? The city owns the sidewalk, so I can't dig up the sidewalk and make it all wood or do something creative that I want to do. I can't do that, right? I have to stick by codes out of my control. That is the reason why you want to be an LLC, okay? Now, we're going to get started so you know you need stockholders information. Now, a stockholder information, this is something new they put in maybe a year or two years ago. This is basically just saying who owns the company. It's, it's a pain in the butt um, because it's pointless, but this is where they're going to ask you for your social, of course, and you just put yourself as the owner, unless you're in a partnership, which really it doesn't matter. It's none of their business, to be completely honest. Bank account, all your funds are going straight to the bank account. They're not going to a PayPal, because I hate PayPal, guys, which is, that's a whole nother story. It's not going to a PayPal. It's going straight to you. All right, let's get started. All right, so next, once we get started, do you operate as do your does excuse me let me slow down do you operate your business as a legal entity yes okay you are operating as a legal entity what are you operating as we are a single member llc okay next all right now what you're going to do now is you can go about this two ways i'm going to show you guys the simplest okay so the best way is by typing in your street address okay filling out all of this information okay including your ein information all right so let me actually fill that out real quick because actually hmm, how should i do this all right i'm actually create an ein because i need I actually need to do this. All right. So, but again, you want to watch that video on my YouTube that shows you how to create one because I'm not going to show all of this information right now. And I'm not going to walk through it only because I literally just put a video up. Um, like I lit, like when I say I literally just put a video up, I literally just put a video up like literally yesterday. So it will be kind of productive for me. Um, but you want to make sure you have your EIN ready because that step that I just showed you on eBay right here, this is the reasoning. This is the reason you need it. Let me do this. Boom. Almost done. All right. Now, we're going to change the name because I'm actually going to make a real LFC. We're going to change the name to something I really need it to be. Uh, Hustlers Syndicate. Hustlers Syndicate. That's what it's going to be called. You can create as many EINs as you want, one per day, I believe now, but it used to not be like that. You used to be able to do it whenever you want. But the reason I've made it Hustler Syndicate is because that's actually something I'm about to do. So, yeah. No, no, no. All right. I'll show you a little bit. Even though y'all should, you know what I mean, support your boy and go watch the video, you know what I mean? That's all I'm saying. All right. Now I'm going to receive the letter online. Give me one second. All right. Dun, dun. Perfecto. Let me save this. This is Hustlers Syndicate. Okay. All right. So now we got that. We're Gucci Gucci. All right. So now, 
nine, three, three, one, seven, six. And you should be doing this with me as you're watching. If you're watching this at a later date, definitely four, four, five. Okay. Then you want to enter a street address, 47. And, uh, I don't know. What the heck? Um, right here. Continue. Oh my God, you gotta do all of this extra stuff. Just text me, bro. Just text me. Just text the kid. Just text the kid. Jesus. All right. So eight, eight, three, nine. Five, seven, nine. Okay, so you good. Now, at a primary contact, honestly, this is gonna again be where you enter all of your information. Just make sure you put beneficial owner, okay? Make sure you put that, very important. Let me fill this information out really quickly, guys. Um, Really quickly. All right. Okay. So now, once you do that, then they're talking about add new stakeholder. This should work as primary beneficial owner. Okay. That means you own it. Um, a couple of days ago, they were having this glitch. I was helping somebody. All right, now this is where you're gonna enter your bank information, okay? You're gonna enter your bank information, all right? Now, when you enter your bank information, what it's going to be doing is going to be helping you literally when it comes to you actually getting paid. You wanna make money, this is the way to go, okay? This is the way to go. So once you get that done and you get that bank information done, you are now king crab llc and you are now a business okay you are now a business now they're gonna ask me when it comes to me trying to list some information which has literally the same exact of everything we just filled out 47 39 frankfurt avenue and you'll have this done um but this is really honestly because i'm doing this video and it's not a legit business that i started um owner okay and this is exactly how you're going to get to the point okay everything is going to change when you have a personal account this is all personal now you can see that it is saying business okay um what was my password oh okay i'm moving too fast y'all hold on oh i gotta slow it down but anyway so this is the way that you start a business ebay okay now if you're somebody that already has an ebay you can simply of course go to google.com create eBay business account okay and then hit this all right and this is gonna already have an account sign in and you're good okay then it starts walk you through the steps on how to do exactly what we just did all right so that is exactly how you can right now register your eBay as a business account Thank you so much to everybody watching. Thank you for the patience. Thank you for the support. Thank you for the love. Thank you for the kind words. Thank you for the positive energy. Thank you for everything you guys do. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting. Thank you for everything. From the bottom of my heart, I love you guys. And I cannot wait to see you guys at the top. And um, yes, we will get to this money. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.